Yo girl, my TV's broken. Can I watch you instead? What's going on everybody? It is Friday and it's time for your five fun facts for Friday. Your counting this week is brought to you by a young lady named Katie who really didn't have the best counting available. She did have one thing going for her. She's a female. And I don't get too many female counters. So to encourage more females to do some counting videos, here is one of your own. Here it is, five fun facts. For Friday, here we go. Number one. Do you have that nerdy friend that corrects you on everything? Man, it's like 98 degrees outside today. Fahrenheit or Celsius? <laughs> well, do me a favor and just wait until winter. And then say, whew, it's really cold. It's like negative 40. And then when he says, Fahrenheit or Celsius? <laughs> you get to say, what does it matter? Negative 40 Fahrenheit's the same thing as negative 40 Celsius. Booyah! Wow, that's like two weeks in a row I've gotten excited during a video. Booyah! Number two. A lot of times people ask me where I get my facts from. And lately, right before I start recording on Fridays, I post a tweet, a Facebook status, and a daily booth picture asking you guys to submit the facts. But today was the first day that someone actually called me with a fact. It was my own sister. And I'll be in a lot of trouble if I don't use her fact, which I kind of got lost and don't really know what she's talking about. But maybe you will. There's no such thing as 100% decaf made bean or uh, naturally decaf made coffee because you have to extract the caffeine from the coffee bean, so therefore you can never possibly get all of it out. So pretty much there's no such thing as 100% decaf, I think. What's awesome is my sister works at Starbucks, so I see her sitting there at work on the company phone reading that off the back of the package. There's probably a line out the door, but she has to call her brother with the fact. It's important. Number three. Last week I asked you guys if you had an innie belly button or an Audi belly button. You guys submitted 258 comments, with 24 people having Audis. Roughly making about 10% of my audience having Audi belly buttons. Which is good because 10% of the people in the world have Audi belly buttons. And this show here is no different. Go figure, we did our own personal research to prove a fact. Number four. NiceCat999 on YouTube writes, If you say beer can with an English accent, it sounds like bacon in a Jamaican accent. I have an English friend named Eddie. Let's give him a call. Yes, Jim. Eddie, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you doing? Not bad, not bad. Listen, can you say the word beer can for me? Beer can? Supposedly, if an English guy says beer can, it sounds Jamaican like they're saying bacon. Bacon. <laughs> I have heard that before. You've heard that before? Yeah. All right, can you say it one more time for me? Beer can. What do you guys think? Do you think it sounded like bacon in a Jamaican accent? Beer can? Or did it just sound like an English guy saying beer can? Beer can? Let me know in the comments below. I don't know why I said it like this. Number five. According to Melissa Goss on Facebook, mosquitoes prefer children to adults and blondes to brunettes. So if you're a blonde haired little girl, fear the mosquito. But those are your five fun facts for this week. Comment below with your pickup lines. Video response with your counting. My name's Jim Mara, and I'll see you guys in seven with a new five.